As many of my longtime subscribers know, I like to shop at Habitat for Humanity stores and Goodwill stores. There are many of these stores around the country, and if you're a good shopper, you can get some incredible deals. Now, I have purchased things in the past for five or ten bucks and was able to sell them for a few hundred, but what you see here is the best deal I have gotten yet. And I'm not saying this to show off, I'm showing you this because you need to know that you have to go to these stores because there are excellent deals. It's not just for me. You can go there and find deals like this too, as long as you know what to look for. So I went into this tool section of a Goodwill store, and there was a pile of power tools. In the bottom of that pile was this crimp tool you see here, made by Burndy. Now as soon as I saw the name Burndy, I knew it was the tool that linemen use, and they also use these in shipyards for DC applications for crimping battery cables. But I knew that name and I knew it was big money. This sells for, take a look right over here. The cheapest I found was around $2,500. And the price at Granger, $3,000. I paid 25 bucks. An absolute steal. I could sell this for half that price. So basically, if it's a $3,000 tool, it's in mint condition, I could probably easily get $1,500 for this crimp tool. When I got it, I noticed it did not fully close. It would start to go, hesitate, then go. So I know it needed to be bled. I called up the company. They told me the process, but they said for this particular model, you need a special bleeding apparatus in order to get every little air bubble out of the hydraulic pump. I didn't have it. I attempted to do it. I only made it worse. It was closing less and less. So I found a company for only 90 bucks, took the tool, bled it, changed the fluid, inspected it. So the whole cost for me was 115. Works incredibly well. You push this right here. And that releases the jaws. If you take a look right here, my friend across the street that passed away a while back, Rose, she had a problem with a power line. And you can see right here there was a lineman using this exact tool to fix the power line going from the transformer over to her house. When did they do it? That crimps it back together. When I got this, it did not have a battery, and when you purchase it, it does not come with this battery. It is a standard Makita battery, 18 volt. I use this battery with my drill as well, so it was perfect for me to use with this tool. Now, if you're like me, you're saying, why would this be so expensive? $2,500 to $3,000. Let's open this up, take a look inside to see how this is made. Okay, so we have this rubber boot right here. If I go like this, spring-loaded jaws. And you can see the hydraulic ram pushes on the underside of these jaws. Oh, I took the battery off. That would help. <laughs> there you go. Right here. The ram pushes on that and then it's spring-loaded to go back. Pull out this pin, and you can replace these jaws if you have to. And then there's also inserts that go over these crimping areas if you're going to be crimping smaller diameter cables. Goes right inside of here. Let's take this back off. An LED right here that shines on the jaws as you're doing your crimping. We're going to see what 2,500 to three grand gets you. This is an Allen wrench, but I'm just using a Torx. It'll actually fit fine. This should separate easily. Oh, still being held right here. That's good. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I mean, there's not much to this tool. You have the control board. 
connected to the battery. Very small electric motor right here connecting to the hydraulic pump. Over here you can see there's a little port sticking out connected to the black one, pushes it in and out. And what that does, once the ram pushes all the way forward making this close, when you push that, it lets the fluid behind that ram drain so the jaws can open up with the spring-loaded action. You have this boot right here which is the reservoir, LED light, and then just the safety for the switch prevents this from pushing in, triggering the tool accidentally. And that's it. It doesn't look too difficult to work on, but like I said, it is a problem to have to bleed this because the air bubbles can be trapped in certain ports. You just can't hold it upright and let the bubbles go up. It doesn't work that way with this model. So that is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Other models of the Patriot crimpers, you can do it fairly easy, but not this one. So a great tool, well made. I don't see 2,500 bucks to three grand here maybe 400 bucks, but the linemen need it and people will pay it. So the next time you see a Goodwill store, Restore, or any other kind of a store, I know out west they have stores called DI, you're gonna wanna go in, take a close look at all the stuff in the store, including the power tools and electronics. The odds are very good that you're going to find something like I did that's worth a lot of money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.